last time on Let's Play Wario Land 2, Wario had followed Captain Syrup into a train station, and he has managed to get on the same train, so now he has to get to the front of it and find the brake unit and engage it. I really like this track. Too bad it's only played in this stage. Ow. I guess they didn't have the memory for multiple parallax scrolling like they did in some Game Boy games. Believe it or not, some Game Boy games were actually capable of multiple parallax scrolling. And I'm actually surprised this one wasn't. Maybe it just had to do with memory conservation issues. Now, there are two levels to this... Uh, to this train. The train itself and the roof. I'm gonna be collecting as much stuff as I can uh, within the train itself before going to the roof. And in order to ha- in order to have the coins for the treasure room, and to be able to stop the train itself, you will eventually have to go to the upper level. Because I think the treasure room is in... Oh no, this isn't treasure room. But the rest of the level is on the upper, upper side of the train. I guess I'm confusing this one with the other train level. Now, there is a pretty fierce wind that pushes uh, Wario back. Which is to be expected, because he's on top of a train moving probably at least 60 miles per hour. It's hard to keep an eye on eight panels. I wonder what it would be like to speedrun this game. Oh right, you can oh right, ducking will cause you to stay in place if you don't want to get blown back. Also, it seems like your up button extra jump height is cancelled, but using the dash jump will get it back. Hello. That's not good. Alright, I'll probably just take the bottom of the train back this, this time. I can't get over there, sadly. Um, oh, good. Got to that guy in time. Yeah, the dangerous ducks are a lot more dangerous than they were in uh, Wario Land 1. Now, where's the end of this train? Because that's the only way to get to the to get to the front car is to take the train all the take the roof of the train all the way to the end. Here it is. Need this enemy. There's our break. There's our break unit. But where the hell was Captain Syrup on this train? I didn't see the captain anywhere. Uh, zero? I think it is. Good. Hmm. 
Alright, now that we've taken the train to town, we can finally explore the town proper. The rooftop is a pretty big stage. I want to say it's the biggest stage yet. There's a lot of annoying enemies and uh, crumbling platforms here that can knock you down. So I try to take care of them as take care of as many of them as possible, even if you can't get the coins they collect. Uh, falling here can cause you to go down many many levels. I'm gonna try to nail this guy first, and that guy. There's some interesting momentum tricks you're gonna have to do later in the stage. Was there anything I... Oh, there were... There is money down here. Now, if you fall off this screen, you will go back down to the previous one. What is with these buildings? They're pretty badly deteriorated. Because the stage is so large, I'm not going to be meticulous with coin collection. Um, I do want to try to get this, though. This is kind of hard to get. Got there. Uh, I never found that my first time through the game, either. Because it never occurred to me that I could jump all the way up there. Ow. I usually just killed that guy because he got in the way when I was trying to do coin collection on the upper level. You know, it's been a long time since I've been to a big city, although a lot of you viewers would probably consider Rockford a big city. It's like 150,000 people. Uh, I've actually been to Chicago a couple of times, but that city makes me nervous. I definitely couldn't handle living there. Now, I think I want to try to get one of these guys... Up. Can I? No, there won't be room. I'm guessing that's how the game intends you to get the coins that are up there. I mean, I'll try, but I don't know if I can get him through. Oh, there we go. Maybe there aren't any more up there. Whatever. Almost to the top. I think we've just got one more level. Now, the treasure's actually inside here. And inside this... Inside this uh, building with very clever advertising on it, there is a pretty well-hidden door. I definitely failed to notice this door my first time through the game. Right up here. Thought there would be more to this room. Whatever. We still got a ton of money out of it. Nothing passed there. But uh, this is where the treasure room is hidden. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Just 
just barely caught that one. Seventeen treasures. Wonder what's on that disc. Gotta be some good music. I wonder if that's the game's soundtrack. Because I know uh, in the 90s, it was very pop... Well, I guess it is still kind of popular, but not as much as it was. In the 90s, a lot of Japanese uh, developers would burn video game music to CD. I think Donkey Kong Country was the first uh, soundtrack I actually bought. And it was well worth it. Of course, now I can just use the sound test to get everything from it, but that was before capture cards were really mainstream, and I think we have a six here. Cool. I got a nice coin bank, too. I want to keep building that up. Okay, 11 minutes? Yeah, we got time for one more stage. Uh, this stage is big as well. We're going inside the same building that we had just scaled. But we're going to be heading down it instead of up. Because we start at the fifth floor. But the exit is in the lower right corner of the first floor. Lots of blocks for Fat Warrior Oak to just use his obesity on here. He'll go through it pretty fast. Now the elevators that go up, you can just stand on. But the elevators that... The elevators that go... Uh, down, you're going to have to use Fat Wario to break them loose. Now I believe there's a ton of money up here. I just don't want to get hit too much. Good. That's good for the pocketbook. No, I don't think those blocks respawn. So I could go around this way. Yeah, that seems like less effort. This trick took me a while to figure out my first time through as well. I need to knock this block out of the way first. Well, then again, I guess when this game came out, I was just ten years old. Although I think I got this game in 99, not 98. I think I gotta carry this guy all the way to the end of this area. Think. Or do I? Or there can be another one there, sure. Ow. I think that guy's electric charge came off after he was dead. That gets really annoying in uh, another stage. I'll probably mention it when the time comes. We are going to be getting to the west side as well. I think. Hope I didn't pass it because there's a lot of a lot of treasure back there. That may not have been the best idea. Whatever, I need to split the screen anyway. Uh, I'm gonna pass on this until I get 200 coins. Come on. There we go. 
Knew there was a door back here. Oh, that's cool. I'm still gonna get this stuff before I actually go get the treasure, because there are... There is a good amount of coins here. I think I'm gonna go for 100 first, then I'll go for 200 if I need it. Yeah, I'll just go for a hundred. That plumber was supposed to be here yesterday, and he hasn't, still hasn't shown up. I wonder what's going on. That's not it. Ah. Because we were supposed to get a plumber over here to fix all our, like, small, or uh, narrow pipes that have been leaking. Well, not leaking yet, but they have the potential to, and we just want to get it fixed so we don't have to deal with the hassle. Because... Because at the old house, um, they had never had any... They, they had never had any problems with leaking pipes, and my folks had been living there for 30 years. And since we've moved into this house, which was, I think, eight years ago, we've had five pipes leak on us. So we're just having all the narrow stuff replaced. It's going to cost quite a bit of money, but... Oh, that was stupid. I can get down there at least, though. That was good timing. But yeah, we've had five pipes leak on us, and we've only been at this house for... I want to say six or seven years. I think it's six years. We've actually had to have a ton of work done. And it's kind of irritating, because... Because... Not only money, but hassle. Just having a lot of professionals in the house. Meaning I can't, like, have people over to game. I can't record those days. Like, I would have recorded... I would have recorded uh, yesterday if I knew that the plumber wasn't going to be there. Anyway, we should be coming up pretty close to the end of the stage now. If I can just navigate all these drill fish... End of stage should be back here. Yep. That'll do it. Huh, I got through that pretty quickly. I thought that stage was going to take me a lot longer. Well, in any case, let's get the puzzle piece and uh, put the kibosh on this video. Your information isn't helping, game. Uh, nine? I can't see it being anything other than a nine. Oh wait, no, this could be a three. Okay, it was a nine, but it could have been a three. That's better than missing out on the puzzle piece, because then I have to do this long stage again. Well, I think that'll be a wrap for this video. We've gone to the peak of the highest building and to the lowest cellar in town. No sign of Captain Syrup. Where is the captain? You'll have to find out where Wario's journey takes him next time on Let's Play Wario Land 2.